Did you know that you can download video using FFmpeg? Not only that, but there are some websites that FFmpeg can download that not even YouTube DLP can, including videos from encrypted sources. It's often my last resort before I have to use OBS screen capture. Here I have a video playing, and I'll just grab the URL, go into my terminal here and do FFmpeg, and use that as the source, give it a name, and FFmpeg will download the video. If you don't have the direct link, you could do something like press F12 on the video page, select the video, and you want to look for the video tag and source. And it should provide you with the URL. Another way to find the video URL is to use YouTube DLP minus G followed by the page. And this will return the video URL that you can then use with FFmpeg. For certain streaming and on-demand video sites, you can use extensions such as M3U8 Sniffer, where when you're watching the stream, you can simply click on the extension and copy the URL. Then come over to FFmpeg, do minus I, and then the output. And this will download the video. For Firefox, you can use the Stream Detector and HLS Downloader. This also downloads video, but it won't work for encrypted video. It'll download, but there'll be a black screen. But you can use it to grab the URL. And when you're on a stream, such as on Twitch, you can simply click on one of these extensions and grab the URL, copy it, come over to Epic Impact again, give it a name, and download. And what's nice about the stream detector is that it will actually give you the FFmpeg command. You select FFmpeg command, copy the path or file name, and then you just simply paste it in to the command line. I do find that you have to change the name of the copy, else you might get an error, so I'll just call it video. And then download. And that's it. I canceled that download so I could show you. We downloaded part of the video screen. Now FFmpeg can't download from every website. Extensions and tools such as YouTube DLP will still be your best option for most sites. The real benefit here is in FFmpeg's ability to download encrypted sources and of course being able to download video with FFmpeg and scripts. Mm -hmm.